When a family member's uh, recently being diagnosed with borderline personality disorder, I, th I think family members feel uh, quite scared about what that means. Uh, there's a lot of terrifying information on the internet about this, most of which, by the way, is quite inaccurate. So what I tell families is this is actually a very hopeful moment because to have an accurate assessment, to classify it, accurately as borderline personality disorder is actually quite hopeful. We have in 2015, for the first time, we have multiple treatments that work and that wasn't true even 30 years ago. So it's actually good news, as surprising as that might sound. New therapists working with people with borderline personality disorder need a variety of skills to be effective. Uh, not least among them would be an open mind to actually bring themselves to the interpersonal situation so that they can enjoy the person, enjoy the human being that they're working with, in addition to understanding and seeing the suffering and the pain that's involved actually to be able to have both sides of that uh, is very important. Diagnosis uh, for borderline personality disorder is very confusing. It's confusing to patients, uh, their family members, and uh, believe it or not, it's very confusing for therapists. Part of the reason is that uh, there's an ongoing debate within the field of psychiatry uh, and psychology about what borderline personality disorder is. Uh, that's confusing. It's a heterogeneous disorder. That means that one person with borderline personality disorder can look very different and have a very different set of problems than somebody else with borderline personality disorder. And probably most importantly, the fact is that borderline personality disorder rarely stands by itself. People with borderline personality disorder typically have two, three, four, or more other diagnoses they carry around with them. This can be very confusing for everybody. Stigma has been following a borderline personality disorder around like a dark shadow for uh, as long as there has been borderline personality disorder as a diagnosis. It comes from a lot of different reasons. Uh, probably most among them is the fact that for so many years the mental health community was so ineffective at treating borderline personality disorder. Now that we have effective treatments, stigma has started to go down. And so stigma has actually been reduced quite a bit uh, in the last 25 years or so since the first randomized trials of dialectical behavior therapy were published. I, I think the priorities in treatment for BPT today are to expand the number of, of treatments that actually work for people suffering with borderline personality disorder. Uh, the number of treatments that we have with very good results that endure is still relatively small and, and don't necessarily help everybody. Borderline personality disorder is a very heterogeneous disorder. Uh, so in order to help people who meet the criteria for BPD, we are going to need to have multiple different approaches to treatment uh, to be able to help them broadly. I remember when I first heard about borderline personality disorder back in the mid-1980s and there was an enormous amount of stigma attached to it uh, and the, the providers that I was working with, the psychiatrists and psychologists, were often very stigmatizing, very judgmental about people with BPD. And I wish uh, I could have gone back and told myself, but also them, that uh, you know we're all human beings and the differences between people with BPD and people without BPD are actually much smaller than the things that we have in common. Everybody gets emotionally dysregulated sometimes. Everybody does. Uh, people with borderline personality disorder get more intensively dysregulated more often and so carry with them a lot more pain and suffering. 
but the nature of the dysregulation is quite the same as it is for anybody.